Hey guys, it's Cam from the 60 Second Shirt Shop, and today we're going to have a look at the Hoodie Shop. So as soon as you get your Hoodie Shop, open it up. And the first thing you're going to see are kind of the instructions, the top 10 things that you need to do to be proficient with the 60 Second Hoodie Shop. So right away you're going to see that it says back this thing up. Do back this up. That way you always have a copy to go back to. The idea is for you to get this file and start making it your own. Use all the work that we did, put your branding on it, put your art on it, make it your own. And from there you want to jump directly to the layer comps. Why? Because everything starts with the layer comps if you're trying to do this in a quick and efficient way. So let's do that right now. Here's the layer comps and right now we are at start here. Let's click on white. Pretty obvious, pretty standard, but it's a great place to start. Let's say you're starting with black though. You need to do something on black. Start there. There's a whole bunch of options, a lot of colors already picked out, many of them things that you're going to find in the various catalogs and from your imprint shops. I am going to go to, let's start with an athletic gray and I'll show you a couple things really quick. Actually, no, I have a shirt to make and I'm going to show you that. So let's start with something that has the hoodie strings, the stolen shirt. Is a mock-up I did a while back, but I'm going to use it to create my new shirt, or not my shirt, my hoodie that is the Dutchy hoodie. So, starting with this, I can just basically make sure I am on my standard select tool and then start right-clicking on things. And I can see right away, I don't want eco badges on this one. It's just not something I care to do right now. So I can just go and turn the badges off. Or, if I wanted to, I could turn off just one of the badges, pick from other badges, you have options, but for now, I just want that one off. And I don't want this to be the background, so I'm gonna right click there, look for backgrounds, and go have a look at what's in there. And by right clicking, you're basically just finding the folder or the layer that you want. I could have said, right click, background, cityscape, and it'd take me directly to the one that I'm about to turn off. And then there's that wood look behind there, and I kinda like that wood look. Um, I also like this wood look. No, I don't. I like this one. So we're going to go with that. Next thing is color. This does not need to be a yellow hoodie. It needs to be a vintage blue hoodie. So hoodie colors, yellow, takes me right to what I need. I can turn it off and then I'm going to go find a blue. And actually I want this to be a bit of a different blue. So I'm going to duplicate that layer, turn off the old one. My new one is going to be a vintage blue. And double click there and then just kind of pull some saturation out of this for a vintage look, something more like this. And then the one that I'm using actually has a blend in it. So I'm going to need um, some kind of a heathered look is what I'm really after. So I'm going to go up to the hoodie effects, which is right up here. And I'm going to turn on the heather. It's going to be blown out for this particular one. But if you were to change this to multiply and then just dial, dial the opacity way back and bring it up slowly until you start to see the look that you're after, which mine's going to be a bit more like that right there, you're in business. So the next thing is that this isn't the art that I want. I could come over here and look through the art folder or I could come over here and right click, go into hoodie art and then right here is the high density Dolan one. So I can come in, turn that off. I'm going to make a new folder for my new art. I'm going to put that right there and then I'm going to go get my art. So uh, let me quickly find what I'm looking for. So this is the Dutchy hoodie, and I'm going to grab the art that I sent to the printer. There it is. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to copy that out of there. I come back here to my art, make sure I'm in the right place. So this right here is my new folder I created. I'm going to move it to the top for ease, call it Dutchy, and then paste this in. So it's going to be huge. I mean, this is the art that's going to the printer, so it's ginormous. You're going to need to scale this down. I like to do it this way just because it's simple, it's easy. If it's really big though, you can come up and use your tools up here. So this needs to be roughly about 12 inches on here because I'm going to do everything from small to 2XL. I should be able to get away with 12 inches. This would be representative of maybe a medium right here. So what you're going to notice right away is that the art is going over the hoodie strings. So I'm going to go up to my selections, which are right here. And then I'm just going to select the strings, which are right there. I'm going to come back down to my art, and I'm just going to put this on the folder itself in case I drop anything else in there. Click on the mask, and everything disappears. Just go to your mask, invert it, and everything will be underneath the strings at this point. But turns out I want white ink. 
So I'm just going to invert that black that I dropped in there, and I'm getting pretty close here. There's a few things I'll turn on and off, but this is pretty much the look I'm going for. You can adjust your art just a little bit better if you don't feel like it's where it needs to be. I'm thinking on this one, I'm going to go for a little bit more of this. So I'm going to send this picture to the printer, and he can see exactly how I have it laid out on there. And to make it just a little bit more real, I'm going to drop the opacity down a little bit and let some of that shirt come through and let it match the lighting in there. So here's a few more things that I don't like right now. This isn't a Dolan shirt. This is a Dutchy shirt. So I'm going to right click. You can see I'm in text and tiles right here. I'm going to go straight down to the one that I'm looking at. So the Dolan text is a folder. And when I right click on it, it's going to take me to it. Let's do that again. <laughs> okay, so here we are in the texts and tiles, and you can see the Dolan ones right here. I'm going to turn that off. Or you can come in here and just duplicate one that you have already, turn off the old one, give the details of the new one, and I'll show you why this all works out really well in the end. So here's my Dutchy texts. Now I can select my text tool, come up here and just double click and add in whatever I want. This is the Dutchy hoodie. And it turns out I don't need yellow, so I can control everything in the 60 second shirt shop. It's all right there for you to be working with. This one, I believe, has an inner glow. Don't want that on there. Shadow I like, but I'd like for it to be the color of the hoodie, so I'm gonna go more with this vintage blue right here. Maybe a little brighter, just for what we're doing. And I think I like that. I'm gonna go with that. So I'm going to go back to my direct selection tool, right click over here and have a look at the note block. So I don't really want notes on this one. It's just not what I'm going for. The, there's nothing I'm going to tell my printer that I can't tell them over the phone. So I'm going to go into my notes and just turn it off and see what happens. So what happened is that we lost all of that note area down there. And that's fine because at the end of this, I'm not even going to use the frame. But let me show you a couple things you could do with the frame. So I right click, I look for a word, anything that's similar to what I'm working with, and you're gonna find this as you go. Um, I'm gonna go with frames, and then just start looking at what I have going on in that frames folder, because it's gonna be pretty pretty obvious, I think. So here are some industrial frames. You can turn them on and off to see what they do. Um, here's a really simple frame, chromed out looking frame, but for me, um, I don't even need the frames to tell you the truth, because I'm just gonna select a certain area with my selections and take that piece out. So let's go back to actually let's right click to show you again so i'm just going to go back to any of my type stuff so i can see where i was working and at the bottom it says dolan again i don't want that and i don't really even need the dutchy one now that i'm thinking about it so you can just turn all of that off so i do think that this could pop a little bit more off of the screen i'm going to go to atmosphere up here i'm going to start turning things on and off and just see what works for me there's a little bit of texture there involved with um a lens flare you can just keep adding things you can add your own things if you want so let's say you wanted this to be a little bit more dark at the top corner and you can make your own folders too let's just do that call it whatever you want remember this is yours in the end to modify and use as you will so I'm gonna take this darkened corner and just put it right at the top just to keep it separate from the other ones I'm gonna to go to my gradient tool and just make a gradient and then I'm gonna to go to my modes and let's do an overlay so it's gonna come in burnt out, no doubt about it. You always have to come in and work with that opacity to find your blend where you wanna be. You won't need much. This is gonna end up being, I'm gonna go with 28 or so. Turn it on and off so that you can see. Super subtle. Um, and if it's not enough for you, get in there. And adjust it some more. Mine actually defaulted back to zero. No wonder it was super subtle. All right. So I'm liking this. I'm thinking I'm pretty much ready to send this one out, I think. Um, actually, I like it better without that. So I'm going to go back to my selections. Click right here. It's going to make me that selection. I can command option or command shift to copy out of here. Just make a new document. And there it is. I can upload that. I can send that. It's just a simple wood background with the hoodie that I just created. This is the 60 second hoodie shop. It is that simple. It is that awesome. And if you can get around in Photoshop a little bit, you're going to get some huge power out of this. If you're a brand newbie, you're going to be able to drop art on it in less than a minute anyways. Super awesome. Stay awesome.